Exactly. And right now, there's something I'm meant to do, too. Alright you guys, it's Gucci, it's your boy, SJK out the first black Super Saiyan to work on the planet. I'm back here with another video, got a reaction right here for you guys. We got this My Hero Academia Season 4 trailer, English dub. Um, Like I say, My Hero's cool. It ain't in my top 10 of my favorite animes, but it's cool to watch, you know, it's cool to watch. The hype for it, not really there for me. My favorite characters is All Might, Eraserhead, Todoroki, and Deku. That's pretty much it. Everybody else is just meh, or they're just you're there. You know. You oh, one more thing. So I'm I was able my channel was able to be monetized. So I gotta inform you guys. Other ways, you know, you can yeah, I can get paid from this is if you watch the short little ads. I'm not expecting you to watch those like long ads that show up at like the freaking uh almost some there'll be sometimes cases where there's almost 50 minute or hour long ads from other you know people and stuff. But if there's like a 15, 15, 30 second ad, make sure you watch the full thing, click on it, let it redirect you to the thing. You don't have to buy nothing. Just click on, just click on the ad, watch the ad. If it's like 30, 30, 15, 30 seconds, just watch it and then boom, let the video play. With All Might retired, people everywhere are struggling with a sense of unease. In this new reality, fear is on the rise and we need heroes more than ever. If you want to get stronger, then walk on through. If I worry about what everyone else is doing, I'll never be- <laughs> It's All Might's son. The best! I'll forge my own path to the number one spot! The symbol of peace is gone, and the people are looking not for a dim light, but a dazzling one. At this point, those in the shadows and those in the light are both leaderless, so one must take control. What are you planning? put on our costumes and take to the streets we are heroes now i get to see him wear his mask more that's what i've been waiting uh mo like when in the stain fight i was like why is this dude deku not wearing his mask bro put your mask on because i want to see you with your mask i want to see which outfit i spread my roots across this country i'll break the natural order of things whatever it takes i will save that girl <laughs> Hey, fuck. Uh, Uraraka better watch out, bro. Deku got a new girl. Deku finna, well, she he ain't finna be his new girl, but, you know, she's about to be a, uh, Uraraka's finna be jealous, bro. It's finna happen. But we know Deku and Uraraka like each other. It's obvious. They might as well say, oh my gosh, let's get together. Y'all both know, y'all both know y'all like each other. Stop faking. Stop acting like y'all don't like each other when y'all know y'all like each other. Y'all like each other. Let's get together get together and seal the deal um season four we still have those little remnants of things where well all might is obviously gone he's retired but so you still have those things just as the thing they brought up back in uh season two where they talk about that there is a someone infiltrating the school so still that still has not been cleared up yet we don't know who it can be it can be somebody from 1a hmm, it might be Mineta. Hell, it can be the invisible girl. What if the invisible girl is the informant from the villains or whatever? You know, what if? Um, could be somebody from Class 1B. Could be a teacher. We don't know yet. It's somebody. I don't want no spoilers of who it is since you, for all those manga readers, but don't spoil it. Now, we also got to get into a reaction from My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. A movie from My Hero that's going to come out. I need to watch My Hero Academia 2 Heroes. Like I say, not a huge fan of My Hero. But the anime is just cool to me. It's just cool. It's just cool. There's a lot of stuff I don't like about it. But I can still watch it and somewhat enjoy it. Let's get into the second portion of the reaction. My Hero Academia Heroes Rising. Starring Bako and Deku. I
of characters like Deku, Goku, Superman, Captain America, the bright, honorable, shiny, positive, always consistently positive individuals they are. Always positive. That's the reason why Deku is going to be the top hero. Deku is a little bit of a little bit of a Batman, Superman, and a Peter Parker, Spider-Man all rolled in one. For one, Deku is very smart and tactical, if I had to be honest. For one, Deku is probably the only hero in this show that really takes notes and writes down tabs of every hero's powers. He studies them. He he, he studies he studies his hero he studies his 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 uh his fellow heroes and his enemies. That's how good Deku is. That's 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 legit when you got your Batman going off. Your your intelligence. Then you have your Superman. The honor, the positivity. You breathe positivity. When you walk and when other when civilians see you, they can always have a smile on their face. Even if their day is 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 seems gloom, gloomy, that person just seeing you with your symbol and you're walking, just just your presence. You breathe positivity. That's that's the best. That's what are going to be the best things about Deku when he becomes top hero because he will be top hero. He has all the qualities to be the best hero. Yeah, there's times you need to cry, baby, but don't sleep on Deku. If he gonna step up, he gonna step up. I remember that time when uh, Endeavor tried to confront Deku before he was gonna fight Todoroki, and then you know Deku was scared, but then he told Endeavor straight up to his face, "Your son, you you may be his father, but that's his own quirk. That's not your quirk." It's his quirk, and he's going to make it his own. Best in, be, believe that. Best believe that. Now, you got Bakugo. Bakugo, he's the cliche rival to the protagonist. The cliche rival. Now, I'm just going off anime. He wants to do it for the clout, do it for the fame, do it just to be the best. He wants to be the best hero. He wants to be the strongest hero, too. He wants to be better than everybody because that's just how he is. His quirk, that's when he wanted to dupe Deku. Like, Deku, you ain't shit no more. Freak you. He wanted to dupe Deku and get rid of him. And then for Bakugo, it's hard for me to really want him to be the second hero because I'm like, bro, there's many other people in the class that can easily take your spot. Don't matter if you're the rival of Deku. You're supposed to be the second. They're, they're writing Bakugo to be the second best hero. They're clearly writing him that. Nobody else is going to be the, 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 the top two heroes by the end of this show when it's over will be Deku and Bakugo, obviously, just because they're both rivals, period. Bakugo can't compete with De with Deku or even All Might. He says he wants to be better than All Might. Bakugo, <laughs> this is the saddest thing about it, Bakugo. None of your, your, your personality is far off from what All Might has created to be the symbol of peace. You want to be the best. You need to be more, you need to, it's more than power. You can't just be the, the most powerful if you get in my drift. You need to have a positive outlook. You need to be able to walk into the public, into the public eye, and be able to smile. You can't do, walk around doing that. That shit Endeavor be doing, that little whack shit thing. You thinking he hot shit, he tight, bruh. Endeavor is a shitty second hero. I don't know how he's second hero and people look up to Endeavor. It's really only because he might have a useful quirk, but that's it at the end of the day. He's a he, he's a a hero. Top heroes in DC, Marvel Comics. This is what they provoke. The best heroes in these universes are usually always the most positive. They're they're symbols of peace. <laughs> That people need in a world where there's crime, super villains, just bad stuff, people getting raped, murder, all this, all this stuff, theft, all this shady stuff. Bakugo, I don't see him being a symbol of peace at all. Because for you to be the top two heroes, you both need to have a symbol of peace status. When I say symbol of peace, I mean when people walk in your presence. They trust you. They will, if they see you with a smile, you're gonna get a smile back. Bakugo walking around all moody face and stuff. He's only gonna breed more moody face people. 
your your negativity and positivity rubs off on people. Now, what I hope, hopefully they can turn Bakugo around because I the Bakugo for me, Bakugo is those people I don't like at all. Bullies for one. Thinks he's better than everybody else. And beyond that, he was he's a bully too. He tells people like Deku and even his classmates, go kill yourself. Why are you even in this school, my G? You're negative. You're just purely negative. How are you in this school sitting in this classroom with these people one A that don't eat? This is the difference between Bako and he's Bako is the only person in his class that will tell his people, go kill yourself. Go kill yourself. Go die. Everybody else in the class, <laughs> even Mineta, is far more positive and have an upbeat personality compared to Bakugo. This dude just gets up in there, moody face, butt hurt. He mad at Deku because Deku got a quirk. How are you in? <laughs> Did this see? This is when this is when you uncover bullies for what they are. When 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 bullies get intimidated by the person that used to bully, you 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 got them, my son. You you got them. He's intimidated by Deku because Deku got a quirk now. He feel intimidated. He feel like Deku been holding out on him. My G, my G. You beat Deku in a fight. Every time Deku walks around you, he's scared. What, what what's, your, what's your problem with Deku, bro? He's clearly no threat at all. The only threat Deku can pose to Bakugo is if he beats Bakugo in a fight. Because that if, if Deku beats Bakugo in a fight, Bakugo going to feel some type of way. He gonna feel some type of way, trust and believe. But as far as being the best, because Bakugo doesn't understand what it means to be the best hero. Deku and Bakugo, it's a really one-sided relationship. It's literally the dude that used to bully this dude still kind of bullies him when he tells him go kill yourself, you know, and, and he demeans this guy. They don't make the rivalry better when they're when he when Bakugo is demeaning Deku. Like it's no respect. If it was mutual respect, then cool. Like Goku and Vegeta. There was respect. Yeah, Vegeta calls Go uh, Goku stupid, but Goku, but Goku has so much thick skin that he's like Psh, deflect. So, um, Vegeta, how's that Widow's Peak though? How's that M doing you? Hey, but hey, you know, hey, if you guys like Baku Deku and Bakugo, I'm fine with it. I ain't tripping about it. You know, I'm just be speaking my piece on how I feel about it. Alright, you guys, I'm about to go ahead and end this video. It's your boy K. Dot, the first black super saiyan, the world right on the plane. Goes to that peace, love, positive, and all that jazz. Don't do drugs. Do not do drugs. Stay lady, stay fresh. Deuces. You should have gone for the head. What did it cost? Everything.